Hey guys, on today's episode of P-Dubs Arcade Loft, although I'm a couple months behind on this, I definitely wanted to put together a quick video talking about the Magic Pixel Deluxe Zacharia tables for the At Games Legends Pinball and At Games Legends family of products. Mainly, we're just going to focus on how these games perform and look on the Legends Pinball machine. want to provide you my thoughts and feedback and whether or not you should consider purchasing this add-on pack for your At Games Legends Pinball. Okay, guys, and if you're not familiar, the Zack Pack 5 or Zakaria Magic Pixel Game Pack 5 that you can purchase and download on your At Games Legends pinball machine includes 10 deluxe pinball tables developed by Magic Pixel. These deluxe tables are more of the high end premium set of tables featuring rich set of animated characters and special 3D effects. These tables are considered fantasy tables. They do closely resemble the kind of quality you can expect from other well known industry leaders in virtual pinball. Now there are some pros and cons to everything in this world, including owning this pinball game pack, which we're going to cover in this video, give you my personal opinions on these games, how they play, as well as how they perform on this hardware, and if this is something you should consider purchasing. But before we do that, let's go ahead and talk about the games. Sinistar Deluxe was released in 2019 by Magic Pixel. The particular theme of this virtual pinball game is that this is a movie shooting game or a you're on a Hollywood film set type of story. This particular uh, pinball game features three play fields, five flippers, three pop bumpers, a hole, a kickback, a spinner, three ramps, a tower, a captive ball target, and plenty of bank spot targets. Me personally playing this game over the last couple of months, I actually find this game in all honesty, kind of boring. This game really doesn't excite me. I don't really get a lot of thrills playing this game, but it is a welcome addition to the overall game pack because I know some folks out there will like how the lighting effects, the 3D effects, the back glass display, and the fact that, as always, with any of these add-on games uh, built uh, that li licensed two act games by Magic Pixel and all that kinds of stuff, all aspects of the table work, as you saw in the beginning, the back glass, the accelerometers, the haptic feedback, um, the flipper buttons, the nudge buttons, everything just works, and it could be a fun experience, but this game just isn't my cup of tea. And of course, all of these games are compatible with the At Games ecosystem, which means every game does uh, is compatible with their online leaderboards. Combat Deluxe is a newer game released by Magic Pixel, just came out this year in 2021. As, as you can imagine, this is a deluxe version of their famous Combat Deluxe game. Combat Deluxe is a deluxe version of their famous Combat Deluxe game. Combat Deluxe is a deluxe version of their famous Combat Deluxe game. Combat Deluxe is a deluxe version of their famous Combat Deluxe game. Combat Deluxe is a deluxe version of their famous Combat Deluxe game. Combat Deluxe is a deluxe version of their famous Combat Deluxe game. Combat Deluxe is a deluxe version of their famous Combat Deluxe game. Combat Deluxe is a deluxe version of their famous Combat Deluxe game. Combat Deluxe is a deluxe version of their famous Combat Deluxe game. Combat Deluxe is a deluxe version of their famous Combat Deluxe game. Combat Deluxe is a deluxe version of their famous Combat Deluxe game. Combat Deluxe is a deluxe version of their famous Combat Deluxe game. Combat Deluxe is a deluxe version of their famous Combat Deluxe game. Combat Deluxe is a deluxe version of their famous Combat Deluxe game. Combat Deluxe is a deluxe version of their famous Combat Deluxe game. Combat Deluxe is a deluxe version of their famous Combat Deluxe game. Combat Deluxe is a deluxe version of their famous Combat Deluxe game. Combat Deluxe is a deluxe version of their famous Combat Deluxe game. Combat Deluxe is a deluxe version of their famous Combat Deluxe game. Combat Deluxe is a deluxe version of their interactive robot models, and of course plenty of bank spot targets, about 20 in total spread out throughout the table. This particular game is one of my favorite deluxe tables to play on the ecosystem. Absolutely love this and uh, really enjoy playing this game. Farfalla Deluxe is next, and again, another fantastic use of the 15.6 inch back glass display with the animated, more colorful DMD that Magic Pixel has come up with for use on this platform. Again, this is another newer game just released in 2021 by Magic Pixel on various platforms. And of course, it's not a game that's going to appeal to everybody because it's about butterflies. I myself love how visually stunning this table is. When it comes to the actual gameplay, I do find myself kind of like Sinistar getting a little bored playing this one. Uh, just in all honesty, but it does include five play fields, does include 13 flippers, three pop bumpers, a couple of drop holes, one kickback, two spinners, two ramps, interactive 3D models, and of course plenty of bank spot targets. You're looking at nearly, again, about 20 of those spread out throughout the table. Now my wife in particular loves this one. This is probably her favorite table on the machine, probably because it appeals to her, I don't know butterflies and all that kinds of stuff uh, but me personally not a huge huge fan of this one um, the music is just weird and you know the gameplay to me is just not that exciting again so we're talking out of three tables so far combat is my favorite but we got seven more to talk about and by the way, if you're familiar with the At Games Pinball Machine, no matter what Magic Pixel game you play, whether it's an EM table, a solid state table, a remake table, or these deluxe tables, 
all of the back glass displays and DMDs are all customized for that particular era of video pinball, if you will, or, or recreations of real pinball. So for instance, all the EM tables, uh, the back glass has little rollers on the, uh, on the solid state tables, you have little LCD digital display readouts. On the deluxe tables, you have what looks to be a, a virtual DMD recreation. And then on the um, uh, and then here on these deluxe tables, you have a DMD that's actually colorful, bright, colorful, shows all kinds of different animations while you're playing the game. I really like what they've done here across all different kinds of eras of pinball games that you can get on these machines. House of Diamonds Deluxe is next, and this is one of my favorite games included with the Deluxe Bundle. Now you might think, oh, this is a fantasy uh, theme table. Well, it is a fantasy theme table, but actually it's a card playing table. Throughout the game, as you're rolling the ball across the table, hitting targets, you constantly hear the shuffle of decks and cards being dealt. This game was released in 2020 by Magic Pixel, and it does include three play fields. Two flippers, five pop bumpers, two holes, two kickbacks, two spinners, three ramps, an interactive king model, a 3D interactive clown model, a special spot target, and then only about six bank targets in this particular game. So less bank targets than you've seen in past Zacharia games. Now, in my opinion, this table, the lighting effects, the animations of the 3D models, as well as the uh, brightness of the table, and just the gameplay is smooth, it's flawless, it's tons of fun. I really, really enjoy playing this table. Except when we get to multi-ball mode, when we get to multi-ball mode, I do notice there is some frame skipping in this particular game when we have multiple balls on the table. Now, this does seem to be sporadic because I've noticed throughout all 10 Zacharia Deluxe games that I've been testing and playing these last couple of months, this only happens during multi-ball on a couple of the tables, not all of them. So obviously this is not a hardware issue, but more of a software issue. And I think At Games needs to dial in how the multi-ball performs on just a few of these deluxe tables. Pull Champion Deluxe is next, and this one has actually, guys, become my favorite out of all the deluxe pinball games to play. I'm absolutely enamored with this billiards themed table. Magic Pixel released this back in 2020. Once again, we have a multi-level table with three play fields, nine flippers, three pop bumpers, three holes, a couple of kickbacks, a spinner, two ramps, interactive pool player model 3D cell, an interactive cue ball 3D model, and then about 10 bank spot targets spread out throughout the table. This table has quickly, quickly become my absolute favorite. Maybe it's because I used to play billiards a lot in high school. Friday nights, we would go and we would play at the pool hall until they would kick us out for being underage and it became over 21 and up, but we had a ton of fun. This game definitely triggers and brings back those sights and sounds for me and all those fun memories of when I used to be really into playing pool. Not so much as I got older, but definitely something that uh, I think I can hold my own in a game of 8-ball. This is definitely one of my favorite games and highly recommend you play this on this particular bundle. Now, Red Show Deluxe is next. This is one of the original deluxe tables, came out back in 2019 by Magic Pixel. Obviously, this is a game where the theme of the game is you are a band. Gotta get the band back together and get your music going and all that kinds of stuff. Now, in all honesty, guys, when this game first came out, I was digging it, I was digging it, but the more I played it, the more I got into it, this game again just became really boring to me. Really difficult to achieve some table settings until you get good. Until you, It's really difficult to hit all those table goals in this game. I really don't like the layout of the playfield and how difficult it is sometimes to access the other ramps and areas on this table. There are two playfields, seven flippers, three pop bumpers, four drop holes, one kickback, one spinner, two ramps, an interactive 3D model, and it's probably one of the largest ones that Magic Pixel has put on a deluxe table, the blonde girl there. And then of course you have five moving spot targets and about 10 different uh, bank spot targets spread out throughout the table. This game honestly just bores the living heck out of me. Not a big fan of this one, but it might be one for you. Uh, the music, uh, I mean, this is a band table. You expect this to be rocking and rolling, and the music is just so lame and god-awful that it's not that exciting. Robot Deluxe is next, and this is one of my favorites included with the Deluxe Table Bundle Pack. 
This is a sci-fi themed table. Came out in 2020 by Magic Pixel. This table reminds you a lot of combat with the multiple play fields on both the top left and right sides of the game. There's four play fields in total, eight flippers, six pop bumpers, two holes, one kickback, a couple of spinners, three ramps, one interactive robot 3D model, and then three interactive robot arm models. This game is really, really enjoyable to play to me, in my opinion. Really enjoy hitting, there's about 18 bank spot targets spread out throughout the table. Love the gameplay. Love all the little, if you can get it up onto the other play fields and the robot mechanical arms. They grab your ball, they move your ball around. And this game is just a ton of fun. Visually, it's again, one of the better design games. Also, some of the better music as well. Because if there's one thing about these Zacharia games is... They didn't pick the best music. They have some fun tables, but some horrible music soundtracks to go along with them. This one's a little bit more enjoyable, in my opinion. Uh, kind of like the uh, the billiards game and things like that. This is definitely a ton of fun. Highly recommend playing Robot Deluxe. Out of the 10 games, my second favorite game behind the billiards game is Spooky Deluxe. This supernatural theme table came out in 2020 by Magic Pixel. We just have the one play field, but it's a great design on this play field with this giant monster Frankenstein looking guy, all the ramps wrapped around him that you have to desperately try to get your pinball up and around and over. You got one big play field, two flippers, three pop bumpers, two holes, one kickback, two spinners, two ramps, a special spot target bank, and then of course six or seven more other bank spot targets spread out throughout the table. The sound effects are great, the music is great, and this is probably, yeah, this is definitely my second favorite deluxe table to play. This table is visually stunning and a great experience in my opinion. Again, just like some of the other deluxe tables, if you do enable a multi-ball feature, I notice some slight hiccups and frame hesitations when you have the multiple balls on the screen and when they're trying to roll very fast around the different targets. Again, this doesn't seem to plague every deluxe table. Definitely appears to be a firmware issue that I'm sure At Games is aware of and can get that dialed in. If you're a fan of bowling virtual pinball games, well, you're going to enjoy Strike Deluxe. This is another really good game included in this 10-game deluxe pack uh, from Magic Pixel. This obviously was a game that came out in 2020. And again, we have multiple play fields, three play fields, six flippers, three pop bumpers, three drop holes, a kickback, a couple of spinners, three ramps, an awesome mini game area right there where you can catch your pinball and shoot it up the bowling lane in order to get a strike and try and knock down all the pins. There's also a uh, bank special hanging target and there's uh, just a few bank drop targets in this game, maybe about eight of them, nothing too crazy. This game is a ton, a ton of fun to play, has a lot of replay value. It's always fun getting your pinball up in that top right corner ramp. Uh, that way you can go ahead and get into that bowling lane and try and knock down the pins. Out of the 10 games, uh, this one would be ranked number three for me. This is my third go-to, third favorite game to play on this uh, deluxe table pack from At Games and Magic Pixel. We all need superheroes in our lives, and that's where Universe Deluxe comes in. This is a superhero-themed table. Uh, came out in 2020 by Magic Pixel on various platforms. Does have three different play fields. Once again, multiple levels, which I absolutely love. Seven flippers, two pop bumpers, three holes, a kickback, a spinner, four ramps, and of course our giant interactive superhero model of Captain Zack in the middle of the table. This is in my top five, probably ranked number four of my go-to games to play on this particular game pack. I gotta say, when it comes to all these different games, uh, we only have a few issues, uh, such as the music is pretty bad in a lot of these games. Magic Pixel really needs to pick better soundtrack music. The sound effects are great, and obviously the performance of the games is really good, except during multiball in some games. Some games, there's a little bit of frame skipping and stuttering during multi-ball, but I think that's something that can be fixed via firmware. The games themselves are a lot of fun, they're enjoyable, they're bright, they're colorful. The uh, 
1080p, which is fantastic. Flipper delay at the bare bare minimum for virtual pinball. Uh, the ball effects, the ball animations. Magic Pixel really knows how to make virtual pinball games. You can't complain about that. There's no arguing with that point. I think that these packs are definitely fun. Now the pack itself for 10 games retails for $50. Uh, because you're getting 10 games, uh, what you could always do is wait until these go on sale. At Games run sales all the time, guys. And if you can get the Zack Pack 5 on a sale, I think you'll be very, very happy with it. I think out of the 10 games, I think about three of them are boring. And because the gameplay physics on these games are very, very forgiving, if you're going to play these games, you need to budget some time in your life. Because, you know, you could play one game and you'll be going for 30 minutes to 45 minutes before you lose all your balls. I mean, it's just, that's how forgiving these games are. If you think you're going to fire up this and only play a quick five-minute game, get in, get out, something of that nature, well, then you're probably going to want to pick a non-deluxe game due to how forgiving the physics are. I would recommend picking these up. I think it's fantastic that you can run these off a of USB, no PC included. And what's crazy is it's just 10 more out of the 149 games as of today, you'll be able to get to run natively on your At Games Legends Pinball via included games on add-on packs that you run off of a thumb drive. Job well done by At Games and Magic Pixel. Let's just dial in the um, stuttering on multiball as well as with all the firmwares coming out, some uh, tweaks need to be done with the volume settings and the haptic settings. I noticed one firmware, the haptic settings look great. Then the next firmware, the haptic settings need to be readjusted uh, for these games. So let's get on that. Let's get that done at games. I'm sure the community would greatly appreciate having that dialed in. Overall, recommend these games to be purchased. If you enjoyed the review, give me a thumbs up on the way out. Leave your comments and feedback below. And as always, guys, thank you for subscribing.